in the past on my old blog, when I would get back from Gen Con, I would usually make a post that I titled Gen Con Booty. Now, some people believe that booty has a different meaning than the one that I think of. This is the one that I think of. Professor, what's another word for pirate treasure? Well, I think it's booty. 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 That's what it is. Other people prefer to believe that booty means, um, for lack of a better term, a hot ass. Going to Adepticon, I can tell you there are very few hot asses at Adepticon. Sweaty asses, yes, but not particularly hot. So anyway, I'm going to title this one Adepticon Booty and let the chips fall where they may. Adepticon was great, as I've mentioned in my other videos, but here I'm going to show you some of the stuff I brought home. There's always a company there that comes and sells bits, and they bring dozens and dozens and dozens of these big Rubbermaid things full of little plastic bags, and you dig through them all until you find the bits that you want, and then you pay for them. And in the past, I have gone a little crazy with the bits seller, but this year I did not. This year, all I bought were these two bags of bits, really, as far as bits are concerned. Now, what these are, these are uh, old school GW alien tree, palm tree things. They came in two different flavors. They came in the pre-paint, well, not pre-painted, but pre-colored, pre-colored green and brown. Uh, green, obviously, for the leaves, brown for the trunk. And then they also came in the gray ones, and the gray ones you obviously have to paint, and I'm going to paint these as well. You put all the parts together, and then you can get something kind of like this, and they're real customizable. You can crank out all kinds of neat stuff with them, go in all the different directions with whatever you want to do. I'm going to use them on my desert terrain board as little, you know, add-ons to pieces of terrain just to give them a little bit more interest. Another piece of terrain that I bought at uh, Adepticon this year is this. Now, you can't really tell what this is in the bag, and I went to their website to find a cool picture to slide in here, and they didn't have any pictures on their website yet. But I'm going to try to put one together and slip it in here somewhere as I'm talking about it. But what it is, is a shipping container. If you live anywhere near a port city, or if you've ever um, been stopped by a train, you see these things go by on the train cars. They're like a, a metal corrugated um, storage container, and that's what stuff goes across the country uh, stored in or across the ocean. These things make great terrain pieces, and um, they're hard to find, honestly. Not too many people seem to make these yet, but this company called Rustforge, Rustforge makes these, they're like 13 bucks for the kit. They can go together a couple different ways. They have a door, or you can keep the door closed, or whatever, but they're great little pieces of kit. At Adepticon, I bought six of them. And because I bought so many, I got a deal. So again, another good reason to go to Adepticon and say, hey, well, what if I buy a whole bunch of them? Because you're going to get some, usually, a deal. Whereas if you buy them on the store, you buy them online or someplace else, you may not as much. I came across another company called Ironheart Artisans, and they make a lot of different things. They make laser cut templates for playing your games. This is a measuring template. It's got one to six inches here for when you're measuring your normal movement on let's say a Games Workshop type game. It's also got a two inch here, which usually is used for coherency, making sure that your figures are within a proper distance from each other. There's a one inch over here, plus you'll notice these holes. They make it look like one of these, a big old brass knuckles, except it's orange acrylic knuckles instead. Now, it says in the package you're not supposed to hit anybody with this, but I don't know, it's gonna happen. I have a suspicion, but I think, I thought it was a neat thing. I've never seen anything quite like this, so I had to pick something like this up when I was at Adepticon. Something else that Ironheart, Ironheart Artisans makes is this cool display board, which you can't really see very well here, but I'll do some close-ups. What this is, is it's just a neat display board, and uh, it's got kind of this neat design with like a sword and some wings and stuff, and it's like the floor of a temple, but each of them has a little piece that pops out. So you glue your figure to this base. This is the normal base that you would play, you know, if you wanted to have a fancy looking base. And then it just slides into this and you've got this cool looking display board thing. You paint it all up and everything like nice and then it sits in your cabinet and it looks cool. But you can also use those figures to play because they're attached to these little pop-out uh, plastic 
display bases. When I saw this, the first thought that I had was, I want to take those cool um, Chosen from the new Dark Vengeance box set for Warhammer 40k. They're not great in the game, in my opinion. I don't know that Chosen, I'm not a, I, I play Chaos Space Marines, and I'm not a big fan of Chosen necessarily. I'm not sold yet. But the models, the sculpts look amazing. So if I take those guys and I just do it just for just just for display purposes, to sit in my cabinet and look cool, this is the way to go. Because if I want to, I can then also pull them out and then play with the guys attached to these bases. So Ironheart Artisans, I came across this stuff, talked to the guy, he was really nice. Uh, he's got a lot of other projects, a lot of other, other things going on. Um, yeah, I never would have come across it otherwise. Speaking of things I never would have come across, Friday night I'm at the Bits seller, the big Bits Bazaar thing, and I'm out there and I'm selling my Tau and uh, hanging out with people and talking to people and all this stuff. And I kept seeing people go by with these really cool purity seals. A purity seal in Warhammer 40k is this little stamp, it's like a, almost like a wax seal with a piece of tapestry hanging off the bottom of it that um, guys, you know, the bosses in your particular chapter might put on you for doing a specifically good job. Kind of like a gold star, but for Space Marines. Well, you see them on all the models all the time. They're always stuck on their legs or their chest or whatever, and you got to paint them all the time when you do that. But I've never seen full-size ones for me. This is a purity seal. This one's uh, for the Inqui Inquisition, hence the eye. It's got the cool skull and wings. This is made out of hard plastic or resin. I'm not quite sure. This part's made out of like um, vinyl banners. This is like a you know full-color printed vinyl banner. It's got the little clippy thing in the back, so you can attach to your, you know, your shirt or to your game bag, you know, whatever. I bought two of them because they were awesome. They had a table full of these things, and they were amazing. They had all kinds of different styles. This one's Black Templar, as you can see by the symbol at the top and the symbol down here in the bottom. And I play Black Templar, so I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Um, these were ten bucks a piece, and I can't find them online. I don't know where they're from, and I didn't think to ask if they had a business card at the time because. I'd had a little bit of liquor, but these things are awesome. And again, not going to find these any other place, in my opinion, that at a small convention or a big convention like Adepticon. I also got something called Instant Putty at the Cool Mini or Not booth. Instant Putty is kind of like, from what I understand at least, I'm looking forward to try it out, it's, um, it's kind of like green stuff in that green stuff usually comes in a blue and a yellow and they're separate and you squish it together and it makes this epoxy putty and then you use it for molding and then it hardens up like a rock. This Instant Putty is like kind of pre-mixed. From what I understand, you cut off a slice and then you squish it all together. So I don't know if one color is already on the inside and the rest of it's in a tube or what's going on. Uh, it just says cut the amount needed, mix thoroughly, and sets within five minutes. So I'm going to give this stuff a try. I'm going to be interested in seeing how it worked out. But again, this is something that a lot of stores don't necessarily carry and you might not necessarily find it, you know, online. Even on Kumini or Not store, you can find it, but you might not know what it's about. So. You can talk to a guy there at the cool mini booth who can tell you what it's about, and you can pick it up. That's what I did. I've just got a few other random goodies that I picked up this year at Adepticon because, you know, I, 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 I was restrained this year. This is a leather dice bag. It's pretty cool. Um, I was just walking by this place, and they were selling them, and it was a good price. It's nice, thick-quality leather, um, big enough to fit my hand, and a whole bunch of dice if I need to. It's got a, a flat bottom, so when you set it down, it sits. It's not just like a... You know, like it's not going to just fall over and your dice are going to go all over. It's got a nice bottom to it. Uh, it's, you may not be able to tell, it's dark blue. And it has this collar around it that kind of reminds me of Kermit the Frog. And there was a green one. And I almost bought it. And then I thought, started to think to myself, if I buy the green one and it's got the collar around there like that, I'm just going to be constantly in the mind that I like ripped off Kermit's head and I'm storing my dice in his torso. And nobody wants that kind of memory. That's That's bad. So... I went with the dark blue instead, which, you know, I think was a better deal. Lastly, souvenirs. Now, these things, you would say, well, these have all been souvenirs. But no, these are important purchases. These are things that I'm going to use. Souvenirs, however, are things like this. This is an Adepticon. Adepticon. Uh, this is a big old, uh, you know, a kerchief. And uh, it says Adepticon on it. I can't even see if it's... Can you see that? Yeah. So, um, I don't exactly know why I bought that. It was because I didn't want to buy the t-shirt. The t-shirt was cool, but it had like the little logo here on the pocket and the big logo in the back, and I don't like those. I like a big piece of artwork on the front and nothing on the back. I don't know, that's just how I roll. So I got this instead, I figure, I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll wrap it around my leg like uh, I'm in a gang. But the other thing I got 
was a set of Adepticon dice. So these are really cool. These have got, on the six, they've got the big skull with the um, saw blade thing. That's kind of their logo. And the other numbers, the twos, the threes, the fours, and the ones, and the fives, um, they are all kind of, um, they're not exactly like the numbers that sometimes you see in the book. You know, that weird sort of font but they're kind of along that line. So they're skirting an edge here, I think, with um, our friends over at Games Workshop, but they're big, nice dice. They have the rounded corners, which sometimes I don't like, but I thought it's kind of a neat um, souvenir. And uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten of them in here, and it was pretty cheap, so I thought, why not? So those are the things that I brought home from Adepticon, not including a lot of business cards, and obviously a lot of footage, which you've already seen, some interviews, and... Uh, it it was great, and like I said, I kind of kept myself restrained this year, and I, I'm a little proud of that. Partially it was because during the big Bits Bazaar on Friday night, I was trying to sell. If I would have been going and walking around like some of my friends were, I would, this would be a much longer video, let's just say that. 